Hey, welcome to the Spirits Wild Bear Review. I'm Shag Dog. I'm Diddy. And uh, this is our new Spinner's Wild, the Spinner's Wild Bear Review. And we're doing Yingling Traditional Lager. It's the Eagle. Myself and the Diddy. The, 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 the Diddy. And I went to a local grocery store. It used to sell singles, but I guess they're revamping or something. So they didn't have any singles. I was a little upset. So I had to buy. I wanted to buy like six different things so we could do like six reviews or something. But I bought three different six packs or whatever. So it's a lot ahead. Yeah, I got a lot ahead of mine. Uh, this gets a beer advocate score of 78. And uh, it's a. Of course, a red American red amber lager. It's brewed by England Brewery, Pottsville, Pennsylvania. This one's particular one's probably at the Tampa Brewery since we're in Tampa, and I think they distribute to most of the southeast, I believe. And it's four point five percent ABV. All right, all right. Give her a little swallow here. That's what she said. <laughs> now, closest. Smell it and tell what it looks like. What's it look like? It's amber color. Yeah, amber. I got. I don't have a really good light in here. Kind of a gold, a amberish, reddish, golden color to it. Smells like England. That's Bruce Lee's Chinese cousin, Ying Lang. Ying Lang. Can make a lot of movies though. What's that noise of Bruno out there? That's the rain. Oh, uh, okay. Starting to rain. I heard thunder over here earlier, about right before we started. Yeah, I, I wore this shirt a long time. My Smirnoff shirt. Suck me up. <laughs> I couldn't fit into it, I don't think. So that's probably why the first time I wore it in a long time. Lost a few pounds. Yeah. Delicious. Absolutely splendid. Splendid. I probably should have put my other one that was in the car longer, uh, put it in the freezer for a few minutes, cool it down more, but that's okay. It should be all right by the time we get to it. That's rain? Yeah. Uh, what? That's pretty loud. Yeah. Yeah, you got that tin roof thing out there, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Not the, not the ice cream natural roof, yeah. That's a what? I said not roof. the ice cream. The actual roof. Is there actual is there an ice cream called tin roof? Yeah, of course there is. Oh, I didn't know about that. Couldn't make something like that up. Well, we're probably gonna not gonna have any viewers on live. I did subscribe to Jammer fans page, but he's, I don't think you can see who subscribes to you anymore. I don't believe. I don't know. It's harder to look at. So he's probably wondering where the hell we're at. So he's not getting the notification we're on. Tech Nine's not getting notification. Cisco Kids not getting notification. So yeah, I can get on there. Uh, I I subscribe to Ronald Riot. I don't think he watches this live anyhow. But I left a couple of comments on his. It's going to be hard to get new viewers. I mean, we had 7,000 subscribers on the last one. And we had almost 1,400 videos. So my hair is like jacked up today. Yes. It's that humidity. That's what it is. Yeah. I don't have to start saying that. Yeah, we probably, I mean, surprisingly, I did about three three videos, I think, so far. I did one review with Miller High Life on his channel, and then I did two, you know, just drinking beer and talking shit. And surprisingly, I had like 20 views on one of them. I was like, damn, we don't have any subscribers. Of course, none of them commented or liked it or anything, but. Yeah. But, Yeah. We got to get back to and it was really good as the I did the Miller High Life. I don't think I can connect it to you and record. I don't think. Maybe I might be able to actually. We'll try that in the next one. We'll record it. See if it. Yeah. 
can try it. I was going to do that with this one, but I was like. He's like, mm. forget about it. Yeah, this is a classic shirt. And I saw a video the other day, too, where uh, when I had the other one, it, says, it said beer, fuck yeah, on it. And I was like, oh, my God, what did I do with that shirt? I can't remember what happened to that one. I've seen a lot of those funny shirts. I think it was on that um, Spencer website. Yeah. Well, that's why I got. That's why I got both of them at this one and the beer. Fuck yeah! Yeah, not much going on today. Hot as hell out. Yeah, yeah. I, I was out, man. I was like, man, it's, it's hot as balls out. That's why I put the tank top on, man. I'm like, oh man, it's hot. By the time my car started cooling off, I, I was probably halfway home from your house, dropping off the brewskis. Yeah, Bruce Keys. Yeah, there was a lot of people when I went there. Holy shit. Oh my god damn man, I might go down this aisle, but there's a couple of hotties, but then you gotta they got their mask on, so you're like, okay, the eyes and everything else look great, but their shit might be jacked up like mine, you know. Yeah, that fucking gator <laughs> yeah. I mean, one of the girls that works there, she's bagging groceries today. Oh, I thought I thought you said something else. I, th- I thought you said she's banging. And then you said grocery. <laughs> oh, oh, bagging groceries. <laughs> bagging. <laughs> I saw a redhead in there. She didn't look too bad. Probably a little older. She's back by the milk section or something. But I said, yeah. "You guys got the single beers anymore?" She's like, "Oh, I just started working here about a week ago. I think they're over." Oh, they're rearranging. So, uh, so I guess she said they don't have more. They used to have them. Yeah, I looked around that whole area. I didn't see any. Yeah, they, they always change and shit. You know, me and Jammer used to go in there. and they, You know, right across from there, they used to have all the craft beer on the other side. They used to have another yeah. what, a couple years ago. And yeah. some of them, they wouldn't have in singles over there where they had the single section. So we would just grab some out. And most times, if it they try to ring it up and they want to go, they're like, eh. Punch in the same as last, but but then they caught on. <laughs> They're like, "Oh, this one's not one of the single ones." Holy like, shit! Yeah, what's funny is if you asked her, "Hey, do you still have the single section?" She's like, "I don't know if anybody is dating." <laughs> Pretty funny at that. If she said that, yeah. If you said, "Hey, you know where the single section is?" Well, I said single beers. Yeah, oh, okay. I will say single section. <sighs> that would have been funny. Yeah, it's over there where all the old ladies are. <laughs> They're hot, humid floor today. Yeah, a certain person was telling me I should start keto yesterday, and they explained to me about the keto diet. But I'm like, and I was like, I drink beer and stuff. It was Kelly, and she's like, oh, you can drink beer once a week still, as long as you don't overdo it, you know. And I was I'm like, keto diet. Because I think you need some carbs, you know, for energy and stuff. Carbs give you energy. I, don't, I mean, I can cut down my carbs, but carbs and sugars yeah i went i started this new diet it's called the fitness diet yeah fitting everything i can in my fat ass mouth <laughs> fitness <laughs> fitness <laughs> i'm fitting it all in his mouth so i'm making some fitness pizza tomorrow <laughs> so what do you think about this beer did he you ever have this one before England? <laughs> yeah no. First time. We've done this beer. Many of, if any new viewers seen us for the first time, we used to have a different channel under my M Y T R U R E V U, my true review, special way to spell it. Spiller Swallow Beer Review was under that channel, but we can't get on that channel now. So here we are. So we've reviewed this over, we've been doing beer reviews. End of this year will be uh, nine years. So we probably reviewed this one about seven, eight times, maybe nine. Who knows? Yeah, it's my favorite beer. I don't. I don't need to review it. I'm just drinking. I started watching some Irish people. There's an Irish channel called uh, Shit, can't remember what it's called now. I saw is something. It, with, it oh, Irish. try. It's called Try. The name of their channel is Try, but it's like Irish people try this. Irish people try that. Uh, and there's this one guy in there. He looks like he reminds me of, of like a, a pirate. You know, if you watch him, he's like three different people mixed in one. He's got black hair and a black beard, and he says funny shit. He's like. 
say something really strong. He's like, oh, ring me mother. <laughs> like, call my mother. <laughs> ring me mother. Yeah. That's why I brought up the, the tra- Black and Trash because they were doing the Guinness mixed with the other beers. And uh, they did the Guinness. They did a Black and Tan, but they did it with some type of Irish Pale Ale. And then they did uh, they didn't do the Black and Trash, but they did a Black and Blue, Blue Moon and Guinness. Mm. And then they did a couple other ones. But, yeah, it was pretty funny. Damn Irish people. Yeah. Yeah, I was watching. I, I still every time I see the the one that has the helium in the beer, I'm like, Shit, I would love to get that. They should have that at all bars. That'd be hysterical, man. Yeah. I don't know if helium's good for you though. Well, probably not in large quantities, but I mean, if you're drinking a one beer that has helium in it, I'm sure it's not going to affect you. I'll have to look at the scientific facts behind it. A, a lot of helium, you know. People always do uh, the. And they're like, if you do too much helium, your fate, your lips start turning purple. And oh, you know, really? Yeah, because you're breathing in helium, not oxygen. <laughs> so I mean, in that sense, yeah, it's probably not good for you. But they have it in a beer one, you know, you're only drinking a beer with it. Yeah, uh, but you know, people get drunk to be doing it all night. <laughs> yeah. So what do you think about models dressing, uh, doing photo shoots with uh, like S and M type clothing? That's great. That's pretty sexy, a little bit. She is a little chunky still, but chunky's good. I think she's a, a good chunky. Nice, nice um, bottom side, shall I say? Yeah, I mean, God, that's about as close as naked as I'm gonna ever gonna see her. <laughs> I don't know if she had anything covering the crotch area there because it looked kind of weird. There was one rope going across the top of the crotch. She might have had something there because it looked like it was almost like a nylon stocking type thing or something. I don't know. Yeah. Looked weird, but there's something there. Yeah, might have been a might have been a dick. <laughs> yep, sixteen ounce can. Now, the, yeah, you're right about the six packs of these Yinglings. You get a six pack of sixteen ounces, and it's like a dollar or two dollars less than a regular six pack. Yeah, it's like seven nine. Yeah, and you're getting what uh, four ounces extra per beer, right? Well, it's like a tr- and then uh, you know, regular twelve ounce for a twelve pack is like fifteen bucks. Yeah, if I would I pay fourteen dollars? I mean, I can get two of the two of the six packs of the sixteen ounce from yeah. the same for like a dollar more. Now we can get a mini keg someday, but the mini kegs are kind of a rip off. You only get fourteen beers, you know, out of a mini keg, but. It's, it's, keg, it's like a keg, though, pretty much keg flavor, draft flavor, or whatever. But, yeah, but, think, but they're mostly German German beers, usually, most of them. You know, they got yeah. the Heineken, but they have Dab, and they had, uh, I forget the other German beers that they, Jammer told me they had. I remember back in the day, they used to have beer balls. <laughs> I think they had a Varsteiner. We got one of those tonight, actually. But um, yeah, I remember beer balls. Yeah. They're, they're stupid. Plastic ball full of beer. I don't know. Like, if you didn't put those on ice, they got warm quick. That's that was almost as bad as drinking all these plastic bottles. You know, like they don't, I don't see too many of them anymore. But the I used to have those. They were horrible. Yeah, if you, I used to buy the ice house, and I was like, oh, that's horrible. Yeah, that plastic bottle. Ugh. Yeah, ice house is horrible. Period. Yeah, it used to be good back in the day. First year it came out. I guess it was yeah. something new. And then, uh, then they can't. They used to I have, think it might have been good the first year or two. I think they probably cheapened it up after that. What was the other one they used to drink? The uh, freaking um, you want the Red Dog? Yeah, I didn't drink Red Dog too often enough. I don't really care for it. It's not that good. Uh, it, I mean, it's interesting. Uh, I mean, like a cheap, cheap, uh, like a mixture of a cheap malt liquor and freaking like a Budweiser mixed. Something like that, yeah. Really that, that was made by Miller also. That, that started making a comeback a couple of years ago, but I never saw it. But it was like online, uh, Red Dog was making a comeback. But uh, yeah. only, that, only way that'd make a good comeback is if they brought it back and put it at like, you know, high malt liquor or whatever, you know, seven percent or something, six point five, seven percent alcohol. Then it might do better. You know, I'm sure back then it was probably like five point five or 
a five or something like yeah, that. I, I always wondered some of those. I, I never checked because, you know, as a teenager and you're having beers and you're drinking the 40 ounce bottles and stuff, you're not really worried about how much percentage alcohol it is. Yeah, yeah, I mean, well, malt liquors, everybody you knew, but you didn't really, you know, pay attention yeah. to it. You knew it was stronger, but you didn't really, oh, it was 5.6 and this one's 4.2, yeah. Like the strongest one I think I ever had back then was that one that's called Crazy Horse. That was, uh, yeah, they still, uh, they still got that one, I believe, but not down here, but up north, I think. That stuff was strong. Colt 45 Power Master was pretty good, too. You know, they have a another one over here by the convenience store where I live. It has um, it's called Colt Forty Five High Efficiency or something like that. The high gravity or high gravity something. It's like almost eight percent. Yeah, we did that once before. Yeah, that stuff is horrible tasting. Yeah, I like regular Colt Forty Five. But if a six pack of those uh, sixteen ounces will get you really messed up. Let me rephrase that. I don't like regular Colt Forty Five, but all the malt liquors around here, that's probably the only one I'll drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really have one. The only malt liquor I see around here is Coke 45, Old English 800. I used to see Mickey's occasionally, but I hardly see Mickey's anymore. Yeah, once in a while you'll see well, it. I always see them in the six pack. Yeah, the grenades. I never see it in the 32 ounce. They don't have the 30. Yeah, well, yeah, they don't sell 40 ounces. Mickey's is horrible. We did that like twice. It's too, it's too sweet. And then there's the green lightning. That was that was some good. That stuff. was private stock, yeah. I don't yeah. even know if they sell private stock up north anymore, but no, that's good beer. I like private stock forties. Yeah, yeah. I remember back in those days, hell, you could go to the pizza places and buy forty ounce bottles because up there, that's where they sold them, and um, you get a whole case, which was 12 40 ounce bottles. Yeah, you seven- see me walk in the bar, but we're at a bar down the street on Academy Street. We, oh, boy, we it. yeah, we got the green light in one time. Yeah, took that's him to Mon- Monco's house, and we were drinking it, have, having a little pool party or whatever. Is that the uh, Russian bar? Yeah, because it was on the third side of the Academy yeah. Street. Yeah, Boris. Boris's yeah. bar. Boris's uh, lounge. Yeah, Boris, <laughs> the Mo- Russian mafia guy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure he was. There's something going on with that guy. Yeah. But, yeah, that was good times back then. Hey, you want to play a game? Of what? Would you, would you like to play a game? Uh, let me start over here. You know, you ever hear on the radio where they got uh, Florida or not Florida? Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, is that one? It. It's kind of like that. It's on Time Magazine's website, actually. <laughs> All right. Well, before you do that, I'm going to grab a beer because. Okay. Share screen. Where's it going to be at? On the bottom? Uh, it's, well, it'll move us small, and you'll see it in the, on the right hand side. I think it's small. I won't be seeing it. Oh, no, it'll make us small. Oh, okay. I can't even read that. Don't share it. Uh, okay. Well, later on, someone might be able to see it. All right. Well, you'll have to read it. I can't see it. All right. Uh, question number one: Man faces ghosts, or man faces charges after shooting at ghosts. Florida, or not Florida. That's definitely Florida. Nope, it was Connecticut. Connecticut man who told police he was paranormal investigator faced several charges after firing shots in his house. So what he told police may have been a ghost. Next one. Woman finds sign from God on goldfish cracker. Goldfish cracker. No, I think that was Florida. I think I saw that in the news. Yep. Uh, she said she found it. Cracker in question has two imperfections. The surface woman says the first marking is of a cross with a circle around it, and the second near the head of the fish represents a golden crown. She's, she found God. Goldfish cracker. All right. Woman calls 911 to get a beer. That's definitely Florida. It is Florida. St. Petersburg woman calls 911 twice in four days saying she had a medical emergency. Emergency person arrived and discovered she just wanted beer. <laughs> All right, next one. Man arrested for shoplifting after job interview at Kohl's. Yeah, that's definitely Florida. I believe Kohl's is out of Florida or Georgia. 
Uh, yeah, that was in Spring Hill, actually. Spring Hill, after an interview with Human Resource, deputy said the man walked over to the shoe department, found a pair of Nike sneakers without security tag. They went to his car to get a Coles bag from a previous shopping trip. He was taken in custody in the parking lot. Cool. Uh, what, I won't do all these because there's 20, but we'll, we'll try to do 10. Uh, woman seeks court approval to change daughter's middle name to Awesome. Mm, I don't think that's Florida. So we're going to go not Florida. California. Correct. Alaska. Juno, woman that wants to give her daughter an awesome middle name, literally. <laughs> woman says lingerie firm fired her because she was too hot. Mm. I'd have to say not Florida on that one. But not Florida on that. Not Florida. Nope. New Jersey. Shit. Man calls 911 to report himself drunk driving. Florida. <laughs> yep, Winter Haven. <laughs> Authorities are sharing details of an unusual 911 call New Year's Eve from a man who said he wanted to report himself drunk driving. Polk County Sheriff. <laughs> I shall say the dispatcher kept him talking while just directing officers to the scene. All right, Polk County. Uh, in that ass. <laughs> yep. That's the wrong county to do that. And uh, women let snake bite baby as learning opportunity. Florida. I'd say Florida too. Yep. Sebring, Florida. <laughs> That's Florida. A woman claimed to be God fled on tricycle. Uh, that sounds like Washington, D.C. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it could be Florida. I'll say not Florida on that one. Not, not Florida. Not Florida. No, it's Florida. Naples. Woman carrying or claiming to be God held up a postal truck, stole a single package, and fled on a tricycle. Uh, the okay. suspect, she pointed a replica pistol at a jogger and stopped the mail truck or some shit. I don't know what the hell. Okay. This could be anywhere. Man eats 30th thousandth, 30th thousandth Big Mac hamburger. I guess his. I guess he's keeping count. I don't fucking know. Or yeah, McDonald's. A, I'd say that's Florida. Florida. No, Wisconsin. Retired Wisconsin prison guard has eaten his 30,000th Big Mac nearly 46 years after he ate his first. He's been keeping count, I guess. 64 year olds say he's eaten at least one Big Mac almost every day since May 17, 1972. He has kept most of the boxes or receipts or has <laughs> made specific notes and calendars. What the hell? I'm going to start doing that. Uh, man jailed for attacking man in Minions costume. I'm going to say that's Florida. That sounds like Florida. Yep, Daytona Beach. Florida man has been sentenced 10, 10 days in jail for attacking another man who was dressed as one of the short yellow characters from the Minions. Police said the man knocked over and kicked the victim on Day Daytona Beach boardwalk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough of those. If you got well, there's the one that was actually funny, and I had to look this article up because a comedian was telling the story about how he was in Florida and he likes to read newspapers from all over when he's going traveling, and he sees Wendy's robbed by alligator on the front, and he said, "What the hell?" So basically, what it was is this guy pulled up to the drive-through window at Wendy's and told him to give him all the money in the cash register and the lady said no so he grabbed an alligator from his back seat and threw the alligator through the window <laughs> he didn't get anything he took off here's That's a good cool. one here's a good one it's florida man arrested for burglary minutes after leaving jail a florida man was rearrested within minutes after he was released from jail for burglarizing cars in the jail's parking lot Oh, you is the hoe. <laughs> I know. Uh, man charged with pouring ketchup on girlfriend. I think that's Florida. Yeah, that's definitely. I think I heard about that one. Pinellas Park. Florida man is facing misdemeanor charge for allegedly pouring ketchup on his girlfriend while she slept, according to her arrest report. The man's girlfriend, 11 years told Vesker, she woke up in the middle of the night to find him pouring ketchup on her and cursing at her. He was probably all fucking, he was probably all methed out. Yeah, probably pretending she was a hamburger or a big fry or something. It's just shit. Our our dad, uh, you know, him and our mother broke up what 
our our mother left him when I was like four, maybe oh, getting close to five. I don't know. But his girlfriend there at a restaurant and made the newspaper. He uh, they got an argument at a restaurant. And he threw hot chili on her. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Well, hopefully it was winter time. Yeah. <laughs> Women admits using county cash to buy dog tuxedo. Yeah, that sounds like a Florida thing. Arkansas. Well, fuck, go figure. Yeah, that's like the West Coast version of West American version of Florida. <laughs> Woman scams four people out of one hundred thousand dollar in toilet feet toilet fan scheme. I guess it yeah. blows that's on your ass. ass. That's Florida. That's yep, Deerfield Beach. Convince people to invest in Pan Fan, a real device described as something that attaches to the rear of the toilet, sucks air inside, and purifies it. But instead of using 107000 investment money to buy fans, bank records show the money went towards... So there's a real thing like that, actually, but she money went towards clothes, spa services, dinners, and more. Man had 800 pounds of stolen lemons. Well, I think they have lemons in Florida, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll say Florida, California. You're going to be California. Okay. Oh, we got a whole bunch wrong. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. six, seven. Most, no, most of the lemons come from California or Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. Or, you know, Mexicans picking lemons. I don't know. All right. We're at 31 minutes on this shit. We probably should close this one out. Huh? Yeah. I love those those things. Like you hear them on the radio all the time. It's like, yeah, I forget which radio station here in Tampa has that Florida or not Florida. I think it's uh, ninety three point three. Oh yeah, there might be a couple of them because I think one hundred three point three has it too. Or it's like one hundred one point five or something that plays like all eighties music. It's like, yeah, I think that's one hundred one point five. One hundred two point five used to be a classic rock station. I forgot the hell they were called originally. Then they became the Bone. They still do the classic rock shit. <clears throat> then they got Bubba the Love Sponge when he came back to the area or whatever. Got on there, and then then they had him on there all the time. I'm like, come on, where's the music? They don't even play music on that station hardly. What, what's actually funny is a friend of mine, well, a couple of them, they have a band, and um, and somebody had sent one of their, you know, well, music videos they made to the Bubba, Bubba the Love Sponge show. And um, so they played it, and he's talking, dude. He's talking so much shit, though. He's like, "This guy sounds like Garage Metallica." He's like, "Nobody wants to hear this shit. This is like stuff that was out in like the '90s." This is Bowles Band, or yeah, Described. Oh, uh, Described. Oh, uh, was what's the name of that band too? Uh, what's the name? Of the owner's nephew over there. Oops. From from Sonny's, the owner's nephew. The yeah, that's, dad. that's right. They're not they're not together anymore. Yeah, well, right. what's what's his name? Uh, Josh. Josh. Yeah. Yeah. He, um, Joey, the lead guitarist, he moved out to Colorado, Bose in Georgia, and you know, they just they had the last show they did was like I don't know, five six months ago. They had a show and. Then they haven't. Then they didn't do anything after that, and everybody just like did. Whatever. Yeah, well, they were broke up anyhow. And they came back together or something, right? Yeah, they made an album, and then they just went back. And Joey moved out to Colorado, so that was their mainstay, man. I remember Joey when he was like seventeen. I went to a bar up in Dade City, and uh, my buddy Matt was. He had his Matt, uh, the Matt Winter Band was playing there, and Joey was playing the guitar there and he was in the bar he's only 17 but and uh he did the star spangled banner with the guitar like behind his back like this he's freaking crazy he's a good uh, guitar i was close this one out p diddy and uh we'll get to the next beer how about that sounds great what are we doing next i'll tell you off camera oh ooh, it's a surprise surprise for the fans <laughs> i'll probably do varsteiner varsteiner it was pronounced var, not war. Very Steiner. Yeah. All right. We'll see you in the next one, folks. It's been a swallow beer review. Shag dog. Did it.
and we'll see you in a little bit.